Hi everyone, so today I went to mass and I came back. It's Friday and I forgot it was Friday. Normally I do not eat meat on Fridays. I normally uh, eat fish, but anyway, I forgot. So I had some leftovers that I had for supper today. And I took a nice long walk, an hour's walk in the park. I'm fortunate to live not too far from the parks here. So I go out and I walk in the parks. And I spend a lot of time out there. I love it because I get to see hawks and sparrows and I'm an avid bird watcher. So I enjoy doing that. And also seeing all the different flowers that they put out. So today I wanted to focus on the law of intentionality. This is the John Maxwell that I do from the 15 invaluable laws of growth. And um, when we're going through this book, what we do is we have workbooks so we can work with your teams and help you to focus on intentionality and growth for your teams. And what I do is I take the book, I read the chapter and then I apply it to my life. So I'm on the market now. I know for those of us who come from a Euro European background, it's very insulting. But in North America, they treat us like products. So you can't think of yourself as a human being. You have to think of yourself as a product with a brand. So I'm on the market and I'm for sale now. And if you try to push back, if you try to explain to them that it's insulting to a woman, they get their lawyers involved. So don't bother because they're ignorant. Just if they say, are you on the market? Say, yes, I'm on the market and my selling price is $25 an hour. So treat them how they treat you. The other thing is that um, with Americans, we're all friends. Now again, coming from the European background, that's insulting. My reputation was spoiled by Credit Suisse. If you go and you ask anybody that comes from an English background, if a woman is supporting a man and their COO goes around telling the whole world and its friend and following you to every job you work in and tracking you all around the world, you go and ask any European, would they think that acceptable? And they'll say no. And you ask any Zimbabwean and they'll say no. You ask any South African, they'll say no. But apparently I'm so dumb and I'm so stupid and Ivanhoe Cambridge is also so dumb and stupid that they didn't realize that they actually were not spoiling my name. They actually were complimenting me, telling the whole world and its friend that they want to be my friends. Eddie wanted to be my friend. They like me after they sent me a cease and desist because I made suggestions to them about how to improve things in the workplace. And I was accused of being fixated and obsessed with them. And I was facing criminal charges being of, accused of lying to the police in Canada. So again, I'm obviously stupid. The people who live in America, they're the clever ones. The ones who ran Credit Suisse, the ones who did all the deals and they, they murdered people, they had people tracked. Apparently that's the way you show that you care about people in North America. Was my sister's doing to me what they did to me. And she's not stopping. Despite my telling her, my uncle's telling her, my mother's telling her, she's not stopping. Why? Because she's a Scorpio and she's determined to prove that she's right. Even if my health suffers, even if I lose jobs, even if I get sent for a psychiatric assessment, even if I get called delusional, even if I'm getting uh, the possibility of being taken to Sunnybrook and left there, so just accept it. Whatever they tell you, just say, you're right. I'm ignorant. I don't know anything. It doesn't matter if you're a master's degree qualified person. It doesn't matter if you are a graduate and you studied and you know about etiquette. Just say, you're right. Let's be friends. Want to go for a drink? Let's go. Let's hook up. You want to go jewelling? Let's go. Just say whatever they want. Just say yes just to avoid their nastiness and their problems. Because even the calls they put through to teleperformance, they were nasty to me. And it was all avoidable. Why? Because they want to win. 
They want to be right, so let them be right. I landed up losing everything and my Rose Michelano told me they won't stop until you say that they are right. So you know what, they're right. Let them be right. It won't make any difference. I lost everything. I lost my home. I lost friends. I lost uh, all my job opportunities because of them. So let them be right. Is it going to change anything? No, it's not. It's not going to change the fact that I know in my heart that what they did to me is wrong. It's not going to change the fact that millions of lawyers across the world know that what they did to me is wrong. So just tell them, you know what, you're right. Obviously your intention was good. Your intention was perfect. Your intention wasn't for me to lose my jobs. Your intention wasn't to hurt me. Your intention wasn't to make the priests in the church cry. Your intention wasn't to make people think ill of me. No, you wanted to be my friend. That's your intention. So let's be friends. Let's hook up. Let's get the police involved and say this was a misunderstanding, just like Credit uh, Suisse and now TD's being fined millions. Oh, you know what? Just say sorry. Let's fix it and move on. That's the attitude in North America. It's easier for them not to do things the right way and just say sorry and then fix it than it is for them to have a higher standard and come up to my standards and hold themselves accountable then it is for them to do what they do. All the customers, you think we like being part of the banks when they do this to us? We don't. We get shat on when we work in customer service and minimum wage. We get given all kinds of bullshit. And the people, the CEOs are running their lives, flying in their first class planes. So just do it. Just do it. Just say, yeah, you know what? You're right. Whatever you say is right. The graduates like me, the people who have good values, the people who are intentional, the people who did the right things, we all got screwed over. So you know what? You're right. Whatever you want it to be, Eddie Fareed, Jane Green, Eric Sharper, no, you're right. Have it. Do you feel better about it now? Do you feel better about the murders that were committed under your watch? Do you feel better about hurting me? Good for you. I'm glad it all worked out the way you wanted. The only thing you didn't see coming is that the bank closed. Was it worth it? Ask yourselves, would it have been better to listen to me and Ivanhoe Cambridge and all the managers that stood up for me and told you what you were doing was wrong and fixed the problems before it got that bad and the rot got that deep or is this better now? Leave it. You want to be friends? Let's be friends. Where's the pub crawl? When are we going? Let's go. I'm waiting. Invite me. I'll come.